this is recording. Yeah, I'm currently in my bathroom. Um, named Kyle Dawson. I am in fact transgender, but I will be talking about relationships. Relationships, how, how to handle them. Yeah, how to handle them and how I've dealt with them. Okay, I'll start by stating how I handle my breakup. Well, mine were pretty bad. I mean, all I pretty much did was cry because then again, I shouldn't have cried. Just fucking excuse that. I shouldn't have cried because I was the one to actually make them not work out. But I mean, it sucks when you mess something up and then you realize how much you miss it after they leave. So pretty much all I was doing was crying and just being upset and just cutting out everybody in my life because I didn't know how to exactly to handle it. But now I just tend to just stay away from everybody because I'm afraid of just getting hurt again. I'm a hopeless romantic, so, I mean, it sucks because not everybody is like that. And usually people just come into your life for a moment, become like seasons. And, I mean, it sucks, but I guess you got to handle it. So, how you should handle breakups? And relationships or whatever, let me just check to see how much was it. I'm pretty sure it was how to handle breakups, yeah. How to deal with breakups. Okay. So my advice would be just to I mean it depends on how it was, how long it was. I mean, I hate people that are like I'm not trying to be like mean about anything, but I hate people that will date somebody for two weeks and say that they're in love because chances are not in love. You just think you will because maybe you just got excited because maybe that's your first boyfriend, girlfriend, transgender, or whatever it is, and you just think you're in love, but chances are you're not. And probably a week from that, you'll probably have them replaced. So, if it's about two years or something that long, I mean, it could be seven months or something, like maybe even a month that it takes to fall in love. But, I mean, just... Try to stay friends with the person if you want them that much to keep them in your life. Just try to stay friends. I know it might get jealous. You might get jealous sometimes, but chances are that if you stay friends with them, I think it'll be easier to deal with it. And just realize that even though you guys are not together, I'm hoping that everybody would want their exes to be happy. So just just deal with it because the right person maybe that wasn't the right person, and you need to find somebody else. Because everything happens for a reason so I just think that maybe just move on I know there might be some tears do it crying makes everything feel better I would know um, and pretty much just just go with the flow I'm telling you though keep them in your life because I mean they're probably your after breakups I know that that maybe you hate them or they broke up with you or whatever it is but you don't really hate them. When it comes down to it, you obviously don't hate them. Okay, maybe they broke your heart, but I know tr from experience that you still love them. So just stay positive, and everything will hopefully turn out all right. Bye, guys.